Hi, could you shortly introduce yourself, please? Sure, my name is Natalia Shuchuk. I'm the chairwoman of the National Youth Council of Ukraine. So I represent Ukraine. <laughs> uh, why did you decide to engage in the youth forum? Uh, actually, we were invited by our partners, uh, Youth Council of uh, Czech Republic, uh, because Ukraine is not the EU member, so we are not part of uh, EU youth dialogue process. And this uh, invitation was due to the war in Ukraine, and also for us it's opportunity to learn in practice how works uh, you use a dialogue process, uh, not only from theory, uh, from the <laughs> a lot of books, uh, but also in practice and a good opportunity to meet with uh, uh, youth delegates uh, across Europe. How do you like the conference so far? Uh, I like the venue, it's quite, co quite close to the, um, our hotel. Uh, I like uh, the content of uh, panel discussions we, uh, we, which we had uh, today and uh, most of the things which were told by uh, youth representatives, ministries and European Commission, it was like quite good uh, content-wise um, things. Um, and I'm looking forward to see group discussions by each of the directions uh, and each of the priorities which we have. So it's uh, Green Europe and inclusive societies. Is there a specific event that you're looking forward the most? Actually, I'm, I'm quite interested how we can uh, put perspective about a uh, wider understanding of inclusivity. Uh, because when we talk about neighborhood states uh, which are close to uh, EU, uh, we have uh, DGNR, which is responsible, part of the European Commission, who is responsible uh, for implementation of neighborhood policies. Uh, and we forget uh, about other countries uh, who are not invited uh, to such event as the uh, EU's conference here in Prague. Uh, and it would be good practice to start invite uh, partner countries uh, delegations as a part of consultation process. So their perspectives as a, a countries which have candidate membership or which eager for European uh, integration. So young people could also give their perspectives. What do they feel about uh, and what do they think about uh, such important topics? Uh, the conference is mostly about intergenerational dialogue. How is intergenerational dialogue in Ukraine? In practice? <laughs> In practice, uh, from the point of view how young people are helping uh, elderly people uh, during COVID times or during uh, war times, uh, I would say that it's working quite successful. Uh, from the point of view about mutual support and help, uh, for mutual understanding uh, regarding uh, different uh, society topics, uh, historical or political context, I do believe we need to have more exchanges and more spaces for uh, mutual understanding like what we can do more. And it's not only the question of Ukraine, it's also about Europe. Like when you talk about elderly generation, uh, do old older people have more opportunities how they can develop themselves or how they can uh, use mobility opportunities? No. Mm -hmm. Do you have any last message for maybe young people watching this video and thinking that they cannot themselves be a part of politics at all? I would say enjoy your lives new experiences through mobility, through different conferences, whatever you like to do there is space for everyone, but at the same time, don't forget that uh, democratic processes are not working by themselves. You need your contrib contribution as well. Um, otherwise, it doesn't work. It's like a cycle of different uh, facts, events, which uh, depend on each other. So that's why you need to support Ukraine, because your security depends on us as well. Okay, thank you so much and enjoy your time at the conference.